People are gonna watch today's video and think that it comes to us out of Brazil. Nope. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Westport, Connecticut. Magtech is the only pistol or rifle ammo I use on the range and I recommend them highly. I've seen their manufacturing and quality control firsthand and it's incredible, which is why it always performs reliably and accurately. They are operating at max capacity and cranking out rounds for you to keep your skills sharp. Pick up some MagTech at your local ammo retailer or get it shipped fast at LuckyGunner.com. Guy has just pulled into his garage in his Aston Martin when this dude walks up behind him. Apparently, they he and one other guy pulled in this other guy that just showed up in a stolen BMW, a BMW that ended up being stolen. And they decided, hey, you know what? We really like your Aston Martin. We would like to take it for a ride, which of course he objects to. Now you're gonna see robber number two jumps into the other Aston Martin SUV that is to our left. And you can see there's a couple of really nice Porsches to the right too. So clearly this guy is fairly well healed. Uh, but they're gonna try now to rip him out of his car. He's really not a big fan of that, but there are two masked men there who have uh, grabbed, I think something out of the Aston Martin to the left and they're gonna jump in. Now our guy's gonna decide, hey, I don't want you to steal my car. And he's gonna open the door and try to get them out of there. Well, now the driver, the guy who'd gotten in the driver's seat, the carjacker, is then going to eventually jump out and grab a hold of him and pin him up against the Porsche. This is where they stopped releasing the recording. So eventually these guys jumped in the Aston and drove it away. Several days later, police uh, convicted, or they, they uh, went on a raid, found this older guy, an adult, with four stolen vehicles in his garage and on his property, including this Aston Martin. A second search warrant led them to a teenager who had gone along with this guy. So they are both in custody at this time. They also recovered a gun, though we did not see the gun in this particular carjacking. Dang, man, I want to know what this guy does for a living, that he's got that garage full of cool cars, but got to be able to protect yourself, too. Remember, you're in a transitional space when your garage door is open. I can't say this enough, right? Like, okay, so I don't know. Did they follow this guy from some other distance because they're like, hey, that's a really nice car. Let's follow him home and see if we can jack it from him or whatever. And a garage can be a safe space, except for when the garage door is open, it's still a transitional space. It's a place where people come and go, where you particularly are coming and going, a place that allows for easy attack, easy egress, and a lot of valuables. So recognize you gotta get that garage door down. That has to be a priority to you. Number two priority, I would recommend, if at all possible, backing into your garage. Because if you backed into the garage, the chances that you're gonna see this guy coming from a long way away, rather than when we get to see him, are significantly improved. Again, don't dawdle sitting in your car, right? So even in your garage, and I know people are like, wait, what does that mean? Should be paying attention. Did somebody follow me home? Maybe they did. I gotta be paying attention to that. I need to get this garage door down and I need to, to do some things for protection. Now, now listen, if you live inside, you know, you got a gate on your property or something like that, that's the thing that needs to get closed and nobody on the other side of it. But recognize that paying attention, backing into your parking there in your garage, if possible, may give you some extra time and time buys you options. Now then, this dude comes over and grabs a hold of him here. And, and I don't see either of our attackers as armed yet, but we have multiple attackers. Nevertheless, even if they're unarmed, this is a carjacking. This is using force to remove you from your vehicle, which is a violent felony. They've used force in opening the door, threatening you, they got masks on. So is this a risk to your life? Yes, absolutely, it is a risk to your life. And so in almost every jurisdiction, the use of deadly force to stop a carjacking is legally justifiable. Make sure you check your local regulations, your local jurisdiction laws, but almost everywhere. Stopping a carjacking, absolutely justifiable. We also have multiple attackers here, right? So again, you're, you know, this guy's a little bit older. I don't know if he's elderly, but a little bit older. I got multiple attackers trying to pull me out of my car, open my car door, this and that. And now this guy's reached into his pocket has he threatened me with a gun? I'm not sure. But again, now the, the threat, uh, the risk here rises significantly. So again, if you're armed in this particular case, you go for your gun and rock and roll with these guys, probably given the fact, especially that you're in your garage and at your home, you're probably gonna be justified in that action. Though, of course, you're gonna have to hire an attorney and all that stuff. This is why we recommend firearms legal protection so you've got a defensive services membership. That said, when you're not armed here, I don't know why you're gonna fight these guys to you know, just try to stay in your car. It's not like you're getting away from them there. You probably got you know family inside the house you don't want them to get to. Probably the right answer here is to, okay, man, no problem, get out of the car. You know, the, the insurance paperwork's in the glove box, the keys are in it, the gas tank is full, you have a nice day. 
Because again, the most you're dealing with here is an insurance claim and you want to get out of here without injury and, and you know, you want to get away from this particular situation and run inside. Now, of course, do I wish this guy was armed and do I wish he was able to stop these guys? 100% absolutely. So carry your gun. Make sure that you're, you're armed, capable, armed, present, and willing and skilled in order to protect yourself. If you don't have those skills, get the heck away from this as fast as you can because when you're stuck inside the eight pillar of that door there and they're backing away and it ends up putting you in the hospital, you're just as injured. So let's make sure we do the right things to try to prevent this, have the tools on us in order to protect ourselves in the midst of it. Be smart if we don't to cover our ASP.